एजेंसीज ऑफ पॉलिनेशन इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिनेशन देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिनेशन इन द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिनेशन वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द सेल पॉलिनेशन एंड द क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन इन सेल पॉलिनेशन देर इज अ नो नीड टू ट्रांसफर ऑफ पोलन ग्रेन फ्रॉम एंथर टू स्टिग्मा by any external agents because it is possible to transfer the pollen grain from the anther towards the stigma of the same flower by themselves but in the case of gynogamy in the case of cross pollination xenogamy and hybridization there is a requirement of agencies of a pollination which helps to transfer the pollen grain from anther towards the stigma according to the nature of agencies of pollination are mainly categorized as living agents and non living agents so first abiotic agents a means no so these are the non living agents helps to transfer of pollen grain from anther towards the stigma biotic means those are the living agents in the case of abiotic agent you can take an example of air and water air pollination pollination called as a anemophily anemos means air and water pollination called as a hydrophily hydros means water so anemophily and hydrophily are further two different types of abiotic agents of pollination in the case of biotic agents of pollination those are the living organism who participate in the transfer of pollen grain from anther towards the stigma in the case of biotic agents number of different biotic or living organism are participating in the transfer of pollen grain from anther towards the stigma as may be the insect bird bat snail snake human and all other biotic agent also are participating in the process of transfer of pollen grain but mainly in this topic we are going to discuss about the insect pollination called as entomophily bird pollination <coughs> called as ornithophily and bot bat pollination called as chiropterophily so out of that firstly we are going to discuss about the abiotic agents of a pollination these are non living agent which includes wind pollination called as anemophily and water pollination called as hydrophily mind it wind pollination anemophily anemos means wind hydro means water next firstly we are going to discuss about the wind pollination here yeah? also called as a anemophily you can take an example of a plant are depend for a process of pollination on a wind as wheat hai rice corn rye barley oat and palm are the different plants in which the process of a pollination is carried by the wind also called as a anemophily then to follow the process of anemophily plant as well as plant flower should show certain modification are called as adaptations in anemophilous flower or anemophilous plant first so plant who follow the process of anemophily they show small flower 